everyone, and why are we doing this again? To see if the cake is real? You know I reviewed this last year, and I can tell you for a fact that the cake was not fake at all. It was delicious, actually. Oh, come on. Don't you want to see if this works? You're talking to someone who's gotten ganked before by this chick? We really shouldn't do this. But it's Halloween! And besides, do you really think the editor of this video is going to put in the effort to make a scary world where Sachiko is going to follow us and kill us? Eh, she's got a point. Alright, fine. Let's just do this. You know the rules. And so do I. Yes, we know. Just think in your head, Sachiko-san Onigashimasu three times and rip the paper. Right, here we go. Well, so far so good. Oh, I was hoping for something to happen. Have none of you been shanked before? I was, back in top 10 worst worlds to live in. By a certain somebody. This is for that camping horse shit. <laughs> But as predicted, the editor was in fact too lazy to put in the effort. So let's carry on with this month as we... Hey now, ya stinker. Not a good. Welcome to my world of fun. Would you like to play a game? That depends. I'm really bad at games. Well, this should be a simple game for you. If you and your friends want to get out of here alive, you'll have to find the ten horrifying monsters that lie dormant within each dimension. If you can do that, then everyone here can go free. Well, that doesn't sound hard, right guys? Wherever you all are. Eh, sounds good, I guess. How bad could that be? I hate all of you. Then it's decided, I guess. Might as well turn this into a top ten list. Hey, will Alucard be here? I mean, he counts, right? I'm assuming not, since he'll only go full beast mode if you challenge him or attack his master. The monster Sachiko may be throwing at us, may attack us just because they can. Oh, great! So then, are you ready to find the most horrible, gruesome, and terrifyingly powerful monsters here? I guess so. Here we go! Anime America's, maybe Sachiko's, top 10 most terrifying monsters in anime. Number 10. You ever just walk down a random hallway only to have the show throw in a monster out of the blue, which only foreshadows the story's inevitable doom? Like this guy. Ah! Nosferatu Zod from Berserk. While infiltrating the Chudder Empire, Guts gets the word that several of his men are being slaughtered. Once he makes it down the hall, he soon discovers a horrifying beast responsible for killing 50 of his men, Nosferatu Zod. The monster seems to follow his own form of honor, always seeking a challenge from a worthy opponent. He'll even praise any human who can lay a finger on him. I guess he got easily bored waiting there for 300 years, but nonetheless, Zod is an intimidating monster you never want to deal with alone. Was that it? That's all I have to do? Alright guys, you just gotta find them before they get to you. Guys? Number 9 Find them before they get to you. Easy, right? I don't like 
this list. The Terraformers from Terraformer. Giant sentient cockroaches. Let me repeat that. Giant sentient cockroaches. These nasties were sent to Mars 500 years ago as part of some terraforming project. Boy, did the scientists regret that decision since these babies are strong, intelligent, and have the natural tendency to hate humans. Haha! I found you first! <laughs> Victory is mine! Number 8! Okay, okay, just find them first. Find them first. Hello? I should have seen that coming. The Awakened Beings from Claymore. Former Claymores themselves! Awakened Beings are monstrous creatures who are twice as deadly as regular Yomas. They're not only far more intelligent, but more cunning and strategic in their attacks. Which, I really hope doesn't go against my favor. Woohoo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Give it up to jump scares, ladies and gentlemen! Number 7 Oh great! What should I do? Oh, hey Megan! Brad? Oh my god, I found someone! Ah! My baby caught is by a large naked man! It's my worst nightmare come true! Bye, bye, Brad? The Titans from Attack on Titan. As if watching someone running around naked wasn't horrifying enough, the Titans have to be some of the most disturbing monsters in anime. They will grab any little human that they see only to chew them up and sometimes swallow them whole. What's even more terrifying are the disturbing faces they make as they trample down villages while making thousands of lives suffer. That grin. That grin. I spy with my little eyes something big and naked! Phew. Four down. Six to go. Number six. One tailed, two tailed, three tailed, four. Five tailed, six tailed, seven tailed, more. Eight tailed, nine tailed, ten tailed. Ah! The ten tailed fox from Naruto. Well, doesn't it look. Precious. The ten-tailed fox is the embodiment of Kaguya Otsutsuki combined with the God Tree. It can take on many terrifying forms and has the power to swallow oceans, split lands, and carry mountains. A devastating force to face that only fools would dare to challenge alone. Hey, ten-tails! What does the fox say? You're welcome, Internet. Number 5 So far we've had demons, roach aliens, giant naked people, and furballs. It seems like we're forgetting something. There we go! Wait, why am I celebrating? Acnologia from Fairy Tale, also known as the Black Dragon. Acnologia is a cataclysmically powerful dragon slayer who can take the form of a dragon. This guy is pure bloodthirsty. He will kill any dragon he sees while forgetting some were even his colleagues. So does that mean he wants to side with the humans? Nope. He loves killing those he sees beneath him. What an arrogant monster. There's only one way to defeat a fairy tale monster. Hey, Echnologia! Will you be my best friend?
friendship is magic, people. <laughs> Number four. Where am I? I can't see anything through this mist. Oh, please let it be mist and not the sweaty guy from Hamatora. Not this monster! The White Whale from ReZero. A whale of a tail indeed. This monstrous creature can surround itself in mist, covering its surroundings. The mist it uses can be used for the monster to swim around in, and even used to erase its victims. Death by mist! That doesn't sound nice at all, actually. Hmm, but if I can't see it, how do I get rid of it? <laughs> Let's get rid of this mist. Thank you, Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Number three. Come on out, monster. Wherever you are. It's too late. Huh? Sayaka? What are you doing here? Who am I? Well, that wasn't scarring. The witches from Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Turning into a dark malevolent being completely purged into darkness and corruption is one thing, but being turned into a satanic creation bent on world destruction and chaos is just an overwhelming transformation. You have innocent girls who make a simple wish to do a good deed for the world, only to turn them into witches when their souls get corrupt enough, and my god is their transformation glorious in an awfully scary way. Hey, Octavia, how about picking a fight with something more horrifying? Aha, gotcha! Contract? Oh, hell no! Number two. We've only got two more to go, guys. We've got this. Oh boy. The angels from Neon Genesis Evangelion. These gigantic creatures all have one thing in common. Destroy all of mankind. Whether their motivation is to get their father, Adam, or not, they all come to Earth to destroy humanity the best way they can. Nerve was built for a reason, even though their pilots are emotionally abused teenagers. Well, let's see if this works. Get in the Ava, Shinji! Wow, you actually came through for us, Shinji. I'm worthless. God damn it, Shinji. Before we continue, here are some honorable mentions. Thank you. 
number one monsters in anime are. All right, guys, get ready for the last one. Whatever it may be. I think I see it. What does it look like? Um, man, what is this? A bird thingy? Wait a minute! I see it too. But mine looks like a dog. Are you guys sure? Cause mine looks like a spider. A spider that is getting way too close to me. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Guys, what happened? A bird, a spider, and a dog. What does this mean? Wait, are those bunny ears? Oh no, it can't be. The old ones! The old ones, or Elder Barnes from Blood Sea. I told you guys, I never wanted to live in the world of Blood Sea, and these monsters are the reason why. Since ancient times, these horrific monsters would kill and feed off of humans, their only source of sustenance. They come in many different shapes and sizes, and man, do they get creative with their kills. I can barely stand to watch this show because it is just extremely gruesome to watch. For their unending thirst for blood and the horrific methods of killing their victims, we deem the Elder Barnes, the Old Ones, as the most horrific monsters in anime. But me talking about this will not help my situation. Why aren't you disappearing? I found you! Be fair! <laughs> Come on! I can't die here! I have videos to make and so much anime to review! Huh? Anime to review? Um, yeah, we review anime. Oh, wait. You're that girl from last year. You liked my cake. Yeah, it was really tasty. I like red velvet cake. <laughs> Hello? Is everyone okay? The bird is the word. Really, Lark? Well, I guess everyone's okay. Do you think we can go home now that we've played your game? Mm, okay. Woohoo! But under one condition. Here we go. You have to review an anime of my choosing. Whether you give it a good or a bad review doesn't matter to me. I just want to see if you'll survive the experience. An anime review from the creepiest character in anime. I'm scared yet intrigued at the same time. <laughs> Have fun. Can I stay here instead? Hello? Is everyone okay? Did you, you know, die? Do I get to inherit the family fortune? Can I go home? Does the bus run through here? I'm stuck on a big blue ball. Ah, oh, you ran out of being too dingy, you bastards. The bird is the word. A ba ba bird bird bird. A ba bird is the word. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Bird word, bird 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 Don't you know about the bird? Don't you know? I don't know the rest. Okay, Robin, goodbye! Want to support the production? Check out our brand new store on Store Envy. For a small price, you can have a one-of-a-kind poster made by yours truly. If you can only give a small amount to help us out, check out our Patreon page. Any amount you wish to give us goes towards our production needs, so anything you can give us helps us a lot. To keep up with the latest in Anime America stuff, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Tumblr. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to Anime America for more awesome reviews and top 10 lists. If you're interested in anything of pop culture, be sure to subscribe to Pop Spectrum. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned to Anime America.